Hey guys, what's up? And welcome to today's video. I have a ton of newness from Tarte sitting right in front of me. I did get a lot of stuff in the mail from them. I have been trying some of it, some of it I haven't tried. This is the completed look, but we are gonna review everything together. They sent me every single shade of their glow wands. They sent me their concealer brush, their new Sugar Rush Velvet Lipstick, one of their lip oils, the Surfer Curl Mascara, the Spicy Betch Palette. They sent me their Big E Ego Sketch and Set Brow Duo, this beautiful BU palette, which is also part of the Sugar Rush line. They also sent me their Big Ego Brow Pomade. So uh, yeah, I wanted to review all of this stuff for you guys. This video has zero affiliation. This is not sponsored. They did not pay me. In fact, I actually purchased the Glow Wand and the brow products myself, I want to say like a week or so ago, actually, from the Sephora website because I wanted to review them anyway. So it was pretty exciting exciting seeing that they were going to send me these items. If you guys want to see how I created this look and you want to see a review of all of these brand new Tarte products, then keep watching. Okay, so first off, I want to talk about these glow wands. So as I stated, I have been playing with these um, for a few days now. I do want to apply it to my face and just kind of show you guys how they work and what they do before I actually give you my opinion on it because I definitely have very solid opinions on this product so far. It brightens the under eye. You can use it on the high points of the face to add some glow. It looks very similar to a shape tape concealer, doe foot applicator, and on the other end of this, you will see that there is a sponge. Now, as you can see, I have used this sponge. These do come very easily right out like this so that you can wash them or you can just take it out, get it damp, and use it like that to blend out your concealer or to blend out your glow wand underneath the eyes or wherever you decide to put it. So there are five shades. There is a light, there's also dream, then we have a glow, a gleam, and then there is the darkest shade, which is auroral. I think I'm saying that correctly. I'm gonna stick with the lightest shade. This is a light. Like I was saying, this can be layered underneath shape tape. So if you are someone that has struggled with the shape tape formula, if it's just been too dry, it's too matte for you, you can put this on first and then put shape tape on top of it. For those who have been watching my channel for a while, I used to hate, like loathe shape tape, but I learned how to use it in a way that works for me. I've mentioned it in a few videos before that it's actually been in some of my favorite videos at this point. So I have learned to love this product. As long as you have good, healthy, hydrated under eyes and you use just a small amount of product, I'm telling you, you will probably end up loving it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take a little bit of this, so you can see like that, and I'm going to put it on the under eye area. I'm going to take the bottom of it, I'm going to use the sponge that comes with this, and I'm just going to go ahead and blend it out. Believe it or not, this sponge tip applicator is actually quite nice. It is very, very soft and it blends everything out beautifully. Now, as you can see, I want to bring this all the way down to my cheekbone here, the tops of my cheek. As you can see, compared to this side, you can see how it just gave me just a nice hint of glow. It's not like a stark highlighter. It doesn't look like I have like a massive streak on my face. It just looks glowy and illuminated. Now you can wear this on its own. You could stop right here. I mean, as you can see, it draws the light so it's distracting from any of the dark circles or imperfections that I have on the under eye. But we're definitely going to layer this with shape tape so I can show you guys what this looks like with the concealer on top. So there you have it. Let's go ahead and layer some shape tape. I have mine in the shade Light Sand. With this product, like I said, a little bit goes a long way. I'm sure you guys have seen shape tape in use before. What I like to do is just put a little bit of it right there in the very corner of my eye right here, inner corner. I put a little bit up here because I like to use this as my base. So I'm gonna take the brush they sent me. I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this out. Now this glow wand makes your concealer look incredible. I absolutely love this product. So like I said, I have been playing with it for a few days now and I I love it. I love what it does to the under eye. I love how it looks underneath the concealer. It just makes your eyes look awake and everything just looks super lifted and beautiful. My skin is so red right now. It's hormonal and when my hormones kick in, it's when my redness kind of acts up. This brush is okay. It's definitely not my favorite. I am just someone who prefers using a sponge to blend out my concealer 
just looks natural. I go back and forth, I guess, but especially for shape tape, because it's such a thick formula for me, I definitely prefer a sponge. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish this off, pressing this in with a sponge. So the other thing I was gonna show you is if you don't wanna necessarily use this on your under eyes, you can kind of put some of it like this. You can put it down the nose right here, on the chin, wherever light naturally reflects, and you can blend it out, and it just gives you this really nice glow, and it works for an awesome base for highlight. Moving on, let's go ahead and talk about the brow products. So I do have two of the brand new brow products in front of me. I have the Brow Pomade, and I have the Sketch and Set Brow Pencil. Let's just take a look at this Brow Pomade. Now this is in the shade Dark Brown. That is what the dark brown brow pomade looks like. And then let's take a look at medium brown because they did send me both shades and that is medium brown. So this one looks a little bit warm, but not too bad. I feel like I could maybe pull that one off actually. But I think for today, I definitely wanna use the brow pencil. That's the one that's calling my name. I go back and forth with brow products, you guys. It's like one of those things where it's like one minute I love a pencil, one minute I love a powder, one minute I love a brow pomade. It's just like, it really just depends. And it's so weird because it's like, Sometimes my brows just work better with one or the other. I, I don't get it. There's no rhyme or reason. It just is what it is. The sketch and set is actually dual ended. So on one end, you're gonna have the pencil and one end, you're gonna have a gel and it actually tells you. This is in the shade medium brown. Now this is another one that I did use a couple of times. So this is what the gel looks like. It's got a really nice fine applicator here. So if you have larger brows, thinner brows, you're gonna be able to use this. And then here is what the pencil end looks like right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off with this pencil end and I'm just gonna show you guys. Now sometimes I have a hard time with pencils because I feel like they take too long. I have sparse brows, but I also have larger brows. So I have a lot of area to fill in. And so sometimes I just get frustrated with pencils because I just wanna get it done. My brows are something that I don't like doing. <laughs> I hate doing my brows. So as you can see, this pencil is extremely easy to use. It just goes right on. It's a soft formula, but it's not too soft. So this one is definitely a home run for me. I did test it out. I wore it all day to work, just stayed in place all day. It didn't budge, it didn't move. It's definitely a nice formula. Let's go ahead and brush some of the gel in. Now this gel is very pigmented, so you kind of have to be careful. It's definitely more than a tint. I found that if you go in with too heavy of a hand, this will kind of get everywhere. So you kind of have to be careful with that. So this product is also a huge win in my opinion. I absolutely love it. If you're looking for a new brow pencil, I think that you will really enjoy this. I love that you get both products. So on days that you just want to sweep something in your brows and you don't want to mess with the pencil, it does a great job of filling things in. If you want something more precise, then you can use the both of them at the same time. So this is a really awesome product. I think it's really cool. All right, let's go ahead and move into some eyeshadows. So like I said, I have Spicy Batch and I also have the BU palette. I think I'm gonna stick with this one right here because this one is so cute. I love the packaging, I love the design. How cute is that? From the honeycomb imprint to the bees, all of the shade names are on the back of this one. Let's go ahead and do a couple of swatches. So I'll just stick with the top row here. I do wanna see what some of the mattes are like. So let's try these first three lighter shades right here. I just like to show you guys what they look like on my fingertips. Just go right here to start. So those are pretty light, very close to my skin tone, but they feel very buttery soft and they swatched pretty good. So there are some of the darker shades. Ooh, that is nice. Even pigmentation in a swatch is what impresses me typically. I don't totally go by swatches all the time, but if I swatch and I see even pigmentation like that, I'm like, uh, yeah, yes, please, thank you. More than likely, it's gonna blend beautifully on the eye. So I'm pretty impressed by that deep brown shade. Sometimes deeper browns like that tend to end up swatching a little bit patchy, a little bit uneven. They tend to skip a little bit, but that one looks really nice. Let's dip into some of these metallic shades. Now those have some shine. Oh, those are beautiful. Let's try this one here. So this one's a gold shade. 
This one's like a burnt copper almost. This is one of my favorite shades in a palette, in a neutral palette I love. I see kind of peachy mid-tone shadows like this. Gorgeous. These are swatching beautifully. I'm definitely impressed. I have no idea what type of a look I'm going to create, but this is a fairly easy palette. The color story is fantastic. So first I'm just gonna lay down a base shade. I think I'm just gonna start off with this one right here. I'm not gonna go in with anything too light. I kind of just wanna go right in with a nice, transition shade. Okay, well that blended out way too easy. As you know, I just realized I never set my under eyes and they're barely creasing. So that's pretty impressive. Now I think I wanna go in with this shade right here. Lower but into the crease here, not fluffing it out too much. Just deepening everything up. Don't worry you guys, I definitely plan on finishing up the rest of my makeup. I definitely need some bronzer. We are looking very bare right now. I did not forget, don't worry, I just wanted to get my eye makeup on. So, so far I am definitely impressed with the way that these are blending. Now I think I want to deepen things up just a bit more. I'm going to go in with this shade right here. I'll layer that on the outer part of the eye just to kind of gently add even a little bit more depth and to deepen things up. Oh why but I feel like I'm not getting as much color payoff. Let me swatch this one. Oh okay. This one is a little bit lighter than what I thought it was based on looking in the pan. This one does swatch a little bit lighter, but it's gonna add just a little bit more warmth and a little bit more brown into this orange that I have going on, which it's still gonna serve its purpose. It just looks a little bit darker in the pan. I'm gonna take this smaller detail brush right here and I'm gonna dip into this deeper brown shade right here on the end. I like to test out as many colors as possible when I'm reviewing an eyeshadow palette so I can give you guys like a thorough first impression and how it actually works. So you can see how easy this is blending out. It's not fluffing everywhere. It's just staying exactly where I put it. She's looking lovely so far. Now I think I'm gonna take this deep metallic shade right here. It's my favorite thing to do with an eye look to give it that ultimate ombre blended look is that I take a deeper metallic and then I blend it in to the deep metallic shade that I just put on the outer portion of the eye. So this will technically sit like in the center of my lid and then I kind of blend it outwards. Wow, this metallic shade, you do not need a lot at all. Blends absolutely beautifully. Now I did want to work with this shade right here because it's so pretty, but this one right here is also calling my name. The bright yellow metallic shade is also calling my name. So I'm kind of having a bit of a debate right now. I think I do actually want to go in with this one right here. I feel like I just made my lids look like 10 times larger, which is awesome because I have very, very, hooded eyes. I'm gonna layer even some of this deeper shade right here on top of that other dark shade that I layered. I want to just put that right on top. I take a pencil brush like this and I'm just gonna drag this shade right here along the lower lash line. I feel like an eye look isn't complete until you do something on the lower lash line and I see people all the time like not putting anything on the lower part of their lash. Uh, the lower part of the eye, like the lower lash line, and I'm like, dude, you're missing out, man. Using that same brush, I'm gonna dip into this very bright shade right here, that metallic, and that's what I'm going to use to highlight the inner corner. So you guys, this palette blends gorgeously. I dipped into quite a few shades. The swatches are fantastic. This is a beautiful, gorgeous eye look. I feel like these metallics are just stunning. The mattes blended beautifully. My eyes have a lot of dimension and pop. I need to put on the rest of my face makeup. I am looking way too bare. This looks crazy. My eyes are just like pow and I have no bronzer or anything on my face. So I'm gonna finish that up and then I'll be right back and we'll play with the lip products and the mascara. Let's do some mascara because we need some of that right now. Go ahead and curl the lashes very quickly. So this is the Surfer Curl Mascara. Very cute packaging. I'm loving the mint green with the white cap. This comes in one shade black. It has like a tapered standard wand. So this is not a silicone wand. It's just like your standard brush applicator. As you can just kind of see, it's got like a nice tapered angle to it as it gets to the end. I used to be a huge fan of the Lights Camera Lashes, but then I felt like it just kind of transferred far too much on me. And so I kind of fell out of love with that one. I'm liking this brush so far. It really seems to grab the lash and kind of evenly coat and separate. Try not to dock too many points for mascara if it transfers to the top of my lid. Now, if it majorly transfers, like the It Cosmetics, it was their collaboration, I think, with Drybar. That stuff was such a mess. 
all over the top of my lid. Usually I will have transfer. It just must be how I apply my mascara. It just is what it is. This one, I'm not really seeing much transfer at all. That is just one coat and it looks really, really nice. Now this is supposed to hold a curl. It's supposed to add volume, length, and it's supposed to be very long wearing. It's not a waterproof mascara. It does come in a mini as well. So if you don't want to bite the bullet and buy the larger size right off the bat, you can buy the mini or the travel size option, which I I'm typically into when it comes to mascaras. I'm so moody with my lashes. One minute I might love a mascara, the next minute I hate it and I wanna move on to something else. I go back and forth, just like with my brow products. That is a really, really nice mascara just for one coat. Let's see how it layers up. So it does layer nicely, it doesn't get clumpy. My lashes are separated, but they're definitely volumized and they just, they look really good. I'm impressed. Let's see how it does on the lower lash line. Let's talk about the last item that I have here to review. Now we have the lip oil. Now I have heard so many good things about these. My best friend actually loves it. My only thing is that there's only 0.1 fluid ounces in this. And I should actually show you guys, if you remove the rubber, there's like a little rubber grip here. Now it looks like there's a ton of product in here. It's the same thing with the Kylie. But as you can see, once you kind of remove the doe foot, obviously there's product stuck up here too, but there isn't a ton of product in this. The good news is, is that a little bit goes a long way. It smells like Kool-Aid to me. Oh my God, it just smells so good and sweet. It looks beautiful on the lips. I will show you guys. And they do have a tint, super comfortable and just juicy and hydrating. My lips feel fantastic after I have this on. Obviously when I saw that I got this, I had been playing with this now for a few days. I had it in my purse because I liked it so much. And when I had it on at work, I got a lot of compliments. They're like, well, what's on your lips? It's like, you have like this perfect, my lips but better effect going on here. This is in the shade Buzzworthy. It does come in several different shades. There's a peachy tone, a nude so check that out um, if you want to but very comfortable not sticky at all and looks really nice on the lips i do want to play with this item right here though this is the sugar coat queen bee i don't know if this is a matte oh it isn't it's a velvet it says it right here so this is a velvet liquid lipstick now this one you get 0.1516 ounces i do want to swatch it for you guys just so you can see the look Here's the applicator. So it's just kind of like an angled, larger doe foot applicator. This packaging has like a rubberized feel to it, which is kind of cool. I'm just gonna swatch it right here. Almost like a whipped texture. Very beautiful, neutral color. This is gonna work for pretty much any skin tone, which is nice. Doesn't have a scent added to it at all. Probably the world's worst application, but whatever. It's really nice. Beautiful. Went on very easily. Feels very comfortable. Sometimes I don't like a whipped type of lip product. Sometimes I feel like it kind of fluffs and goes everywhere, but this one's very comfortable and it seemed to just lay down very, very nicely. So there you guys have it. That is some of the new products here that Tarte has recently launched. Let me know if you guys want my opinion on this big ego brow pomade. I'm very anxious to check that out. Also, let me know if you want to see a dedicated review to the Spicy Betch palette. I can definitely do that for you guys as well. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you thought of these new products. Have you tried some of them out for yourself? I do have to say what I am most impressed with out of everything is definitely the BU eyeshadow palette. This is absolutely Absolutely gorgeous. It went onto the eyes effortlessly. Everything blended nicely. The metallics are fantastic. They swatched, I still have them all over me, beautifully as well. I mean, that is amazing. Like those are such good swatches. I am very impressed. The pigmentation is there. I love the Surfer Curl Mascara. My lashes look fanned out. They're curled, they're separated, but they're volumized. And I am really into what it did for my lower lash line. Love the brow product. Worked very nicely for me. It went on effortlessly since I hate doing my brows. I want a brow product that is just like boom, 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 one and done. I can walk away from it. I don't have a ton of time in the morning before work. If I can find an easy brow product like this, it just lets me get the job done in a snap. I am all about it. So the Sketch and Set Brow Duo is fantastic. Love the Shape Tape Glow Wand. I think that this is a really cool product. I recently tried another item similar to this from Becca 
and mm, I did not, oh, I hate to say it, I did not like it as much. Let me know also if you guys wanna see a dedicated review on that, but this is just like the perfect hint of glow. It just draws the light to the under eyes and everything just looks so lifted and flat and beautiful and concealed and hydrated and rejuvenated and it makes highlight pop. So I put the Jaclyn Hill highlight right on top of it. This one is definitely a winner. I think it's definitely worth checking out. Not a huge fan of the brush. I felt like it was a little bit pokey on the under eyes. And like I said before, recently, I'm just a bigger fan of using a sponge on the under eyes because sometimes I feel like a brush can make things look a little bit too heavy. And I think paired with shape tape, someone like me who usually has drier under eyes, even though they're hydrated, something like this is just gonna suck all of that up and it's just gonna make things look a little bit heavy and cakey. So for me personally, the brush is just not my favorite. Love the lip oil, this is a fantastic product. 15 bucks for 0.1 ounces and I believe in comparison, the Kylie High Glasses are 18 and you get 0.01 more ounces in that. So just to kind of give you guys a comparison there, but I think a little bit of this goes a long way and it's a beautiful product. I do wish I'd put a little bit more into it. I have to be honest because I really, really love it and I don't wanna find myself having to keep repurchasing more frequently than I would normally have to with other glosses, especially if it's something that I'm gonna to wanna to apply all the time. So that's my opinion on that one, but I do have to say the formulation itself, the giant applicator, the scent, the beautiful hint of color that it gives your lips, it's a very, very good product and I think it's worth checking out as well. I like the Velvet Lip. Is it my favorite formula I've ever tried? No, but I think it's a beautiful color and it's very comfortable. So if you're looking for something like this, you like a velvet lipstick, you want something that is just neutral, this is beautiful. Definitely worth checking out, especially if you don't like fragranced lip products, you will definitely like this as well. So there you guys have it. Leave me a comment down below, like I said, and let me know if you've tried anything from this. Are you interested in trying any of these products at all? Give this video a huge thumbs up if you liked it, share it, and of course, be sure to subscribe to my channel before you go. I love you guys so much, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye, guys.